witch. Baseball is a game played by men who yearn to be boys. From toddlers to teens to pot belly blowhards who can't see their shoes, they all want to step up to the plate and knock it into the cheap seats. But when it comes to American tradition, nothing competes with murder. Passions run higher, putouts are for real. And no matter who you talk to, everybody wants to take a cut at the ball. Sometimes they go down swimming. Sergeant Lorenzo, Mrs. Hollinger. Look, I know this must be difficult, but I got a couple questions I'd like to ask. It's okay. I need to talk about it. I'll be all right. I can't believe he's dead. Why don't you tell me about what happened last night? We were at a fundraiser. The dance till dawn for the new pediatric wing at the hospital. Oh, so you and your husband were at a no. fundraiser? Royce hated public functions. They were my responsibility. That's how we met. I did PR for Hollinger Enterprises. So you said we. I'm sorry. I meant DJ Martin. He was there, too. Hey, DJ, the outfielder who used to play for the Sox, DJ Martin? Damn. Royce had been trying to get him to sign his contract for months. When he offered to drive me home, I 
thought if I could talk to him alone, I might be able to change his mind. But once we got in the car, he started acting strange. Then when we pulled up in front of the house, he grabbed me. I tried to push him away, but he got very angry. He said, he said he wanted to do to me what my husband had been doing to him. He attacked you. He wouldn't let me go. And then all of a sudden, the windows started exploding. Your husband, huh? He had this baseball bat. They were fighting. I didn't know what to do, so I ran inside and dialed 911. By the time I got back, DJ was gone, and uh, Royce. Dusted for prints. Huh? Run a surface check for blood, hair, tissue, and glass. Hey, Chris. Hey, Rita, how's court? Yeah. All the drama of watching bread rise. Do you ever wonder what it would do for the legal system if they paid attorneys by the case instead of by the hour? Hmm. We clear the dockets overnight. So who's the leading man? This guy named Royce Hollinger. He's a real estate speculator extraordinaire and owner of baseball's newest franchise, the Tampa Triumph. Or at least he was. Any idea who the perp was? According to his wife, it's DJ Martin. The baseball player? Sammy, I'm impressed. I didn't know you followed baseball. I thought golf was your only sport. Everything okay? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so what else? There's an estranged son from a previous marriage named Buddy lives over in the marina, but I think the main man is DJ Martin. After we wrap it up here, let's go over to his place, check him out. Okay. Hop, skip, and a jump, Sam. Hey, any luck? No. Got to look in the kitchen window, but nobody's home. You know, according to the DMV, this is definitely DJ Martin's car. Did you call Impound? They're going to have forensics have a look at this. Yeah, yeah, they're on their way. So what do you think? He drives back here, and then what? Taxi to the airport, a flight to Havana, and batting practice with Fidel. I, I thought we had the airport covered. Well, we do. But this guy is fast. Have you ever seen this guy steal home, Sam? Yeah, too many times to count. Listen, I'll tell you what, why don't you stay here and wait for the tow truck? Who knows, maybe DJ will show back up and I'll go see if I can find Hollinger's son, Bud. No, I don't think so. I think you should stay here and I will go track down Hollinger's son, Bud. What, you don't think I can take care of myself? No, Sam, I know that you can take care of yourself. I just, you know, this DJ Martin's pretty hot. I thought maybe you'd want his, uh... His what? His autograph. No, thanks. My book is full. My father's dead? How? When? Sometime early this morning. The cause of death is still under investigation. We understand that you and your father hadn't been getting along. Who told you that? My stepmother. Is it true? No, not entirely. We hated each other. When was the last time you saw your father alive? I don't know, five or six months ago, something like that. It's personal. Do you know DJ Martin? Only from what I read in the newspapers. Baseball was my father's passion, not mine. Where were you at approximately 6 this morning? In bed, asleep, alone. I'm sorry I couldn't do better. I assume you wanted the truth. Do you know anyone who might have wanted your father dead? <laughs> my father made his fortune in real estate. That's, that's a business right down there sandwiched between morticians and ambulance chasers. The only thing he made faster than money was enemies. Anyone hate him bad enough to want to commit murder? He was murdered? Well, as I said, it's still under investigation. Could you just answer the question, please? I don't know. Yeah, sure. What do you want me to say? He was a miserable bastard who could drive you crazy. Maybe he pushed the wrong buttons. It just wasn't me. All right. Thank you for your time, Mr. Hollinger. Don't leave town without checking with us first, OK? Parking tickets, man! You can't take that car! What the hell are you doing? DJ Martin, I'm Sergeant Lorenzo. Can you account for your whereabouts since midnight last night? I don't have to answer you. I know my rights. Then I won't have to tell you to call your lawyer and have him meet us downtown. Downtown? Wait a minute, what's the charge? Suspicion of murder.
George, got some info on DJ Martin, right? This kid graduated high school, no college, won the first round of the pro draft, one year in AAA, straight to the majors. Baseball's not my sport, DJ. What's his name means nothing to me. Martin, Donovan, DJ Martin, you should know him. He's a prime talent. Fast, good with the glove, clutch hitter, absolutely no discipline. Sounds like my wife. <laughs> Chris, you any good at rapping? No, man, I'm all thumbs, all thumbs. Who's that for? Yeah, yesterday was my kid's 10th birthday. Yesterday? We're right in the middle of the Becknell prosecution. I forgot. That's bad. No, you know, I take it back. That's terrible. What kind of father are you? The kind that works 75 hours a week to keep his kids in braces in summer camp. And can't make it to their birthday parties. What'd you do when you went home? Said I bought him a present, but I left it at work. You lied. No, it's not. I bought him a present. It just wasn't yesterday. What'd you get him? What are you, from a family counseling? Look, interrogation's downstairs. Why don't you go talk to this ball player? Maybe you can get him to confess, get me home early, huh? We're waiting on his lawyer. Yeah, story of my life. Look, you talked to the widow. You think he did it? I don't know, man. It's hard to say. You got any priors? Yeah, he busted for possession. Spent the first half of last season in rehab. History of violence? He's a pro athlete. You know, violence comes to the territory. That wasn't a question. Got three prior arrests, all in five years, no convictions. Oh, so he can afford high-priced attorneys, huh? Look, Chris, I want you to get into it with this kid. Huh? Press him to the wall if you have to. Just get me a confession that's going to hold up in court, OK? All right. If he did it, you got it. Good. What do you think? Keep the day job. <laughs> it's not that bad. So you fought? Yeah, we fought. If a guy came at your car windows with a baseball bat, you'd fight too. Damn right I would. Now, DJ, did you knock him down or did he knock you down? Look, I told you I don't remember. The guy was taking swings at me with a baseball bat. I grabbed him in self-defense. You said you grabbed him. You grabbed him how? You grabbed him around the neck. Did you choke him? Look, pal, I don't remember. When you landed on top of him, who had the baseball bat? I don't know. We both did. No, one of you had the bat. Who had the bat? OK, he had the bat. Look, I was trying to get it away from him. He started breathing funny like he couldn't get enough air. I got scared and I backed off. You know what I think? I think you killed him and then you ran. No, man. Look, he was still alive when I left. What about Mrs. Hollinger? What was she doing? <sighs> I don't know. I don't remember. But you do remember picking her up? No, that was her, man. She picked up on me. I want you to submit to a drug test. I'm sorry. I can't do that on advice of counsel. On advice of counsel or because you were stoned? No. You don't remember killing him. You don't remember picking up his wife. You don't remember anything because you can. Isn't that right? No! Look, I never meant to kill the guy. You live with DJ Martin and you never even mention it. You should have told me, Sam. There are a few chapters of my private life I would like to keep private. Why? Look, we're partners. No, no, you know, forget about the fact that we're partners. We're best friends. You should have told me. It was a fling, OK? It was short, it was intense, and then it was over. End of story. Now I know the end. I just need the beginning and the middle. You are really annoying. You That's know that? what friends are for. Now spill it and don't leave anything out. You ever have someone come into your life like a five alarm fire, where everything burns up before you can stop it? As somewhat of an expert on emotional pyromania, I can relate to that. I really like this guy, huh, Sam? I don't know. I mean, it all happened really fast. He was like this shooting star. It was a hell of a ride. But... You drive in the fast lane, you eventually crash and burn. Drugs? Yeah. You didn't see a problem with it, but I certainly did. Case closed. You're not over this guy yet. Oh, would you stop? Come on, Chris, I am not some schoolgirl with a crush. I mean, some things went down between us that I would like to forgive, but I don't know if I can forget. Something tells me these are the parts of the story that you are never going to tell me about. And something tells me you are absolutely right.
Did you tell this off a little sclerosis? Are they sure Hollinger didn't just die of a heart attack? Keep reading. You're almost to the good part. Primary cause of death. Crushed windpipe. Blunt force trauma. Probably from the bat found at the scene. Any fingerprints? Yeah, I got a real nice set of Royce Hollingers and a mask to his wife, but she claims that she didn't touch the bat until after he was down. Kind of a reflex thing. And we got partials from DJ Martin. I guess we can rule out suicide, huh? Maybe you two could get uh, DJ Martin to confess. Claims he didn't do it. Don't they all? Claire Hollinger says he attacked her. Let's say it went down just that way. Her husband tries to bash DJ Martin's brains out with a baseball bat. They scramble, and Martin clocks Hollinger out. It's a straight up crime of passion. It's manslaughter at best. You know that, and I know that. But I got a hot wind blowing down my shorts from upstairs to press for a murder one indictment. According to Mrs. Hollinger, contract talks have broken down. Martin used her to draw her husband out, and then he whacked him. Mm -hmm. You might be able to sell that as premeditation. Yeah, and I might be able to sell portraits of Gorby in Red Square. We have this problematic concept called uh, reasonable doubt. He'll bail out on murder, too. Look, the press is all over me on this one. Turn me something with a nice shade of prison denim quick, or DJ Martin's a free man as of noon today. And uh, look, Rita, the word is this DJ is a real ladies' man. Maybe you should talk to him alone. I hate to admit it, but this time I agree with Donovan. No, it's a bad idea. Look, Rita, you gotta leave your personal history with this guy on the hat rack outside the door. Like, go in there and talk to him like a cop. No, I do not want to talk to him at all. What are you afraid of? Who says I'm afraid? Great, then you'll do it. Give me time to go over and talk to the lawyer for the Hollinger estate. I'll see you later. <sighs> Don't forget your umbrella. They say it's gonna rain. It's not gonna rain. It's gonna rain. Stephanie Robo, I am Sergeant Lorenzo, Palm Beach Police. I understand that you're the attorney for the Royce Hollister estate. That's right. Oh, yeah, you're the guy who called about the terms of the Hollister will. Well, it's nice to see an attorney who knows her way around the courts. Thanks. Typical Palm Beach weather, one minute it's sunny and the next minute it's pouring. Do you play? Yeah, I've been known to play on occasion. Like the game sometime? Absolutely. Although I have to warn you, I've been uh, told that I eat men for breakfast. I'll bet you do. I'd like to ask you a couple of questions about the Royce Hollister estate. Well, there's really not much to say. He left everything to his wife. His wife, huh? What about Royce Jr.? Product of a previous marriage. First wife died. I believe he's called Bud. He and his father had a falling out, and he gets nothing from the will. Mr. Hollister was very specific about that. You have any idea what the falling out was about? No, but it was very sudden. So there's no chance that Bud Hollister or anyone other than Mrs. Hollister would stand to gain anything from his death? That's correct. Although no chance might be a little strong. What do you mean? Well, nothing really. It's just that we live in very uncertain times and there's always a chance that somebody might contest the will. On what grounds might they contest? It's hard to say. Usually something like that does not occur unless the sole beneficiary dies or is ruled incompetent. Anyway, I've got to run. If you want to knock some balls around sometime, give me a call. <laughs> I will. I will. You look really great. This is completely off the record. OK, completely off the record. You look really great. DJ, would you just stop it? And we both know I have a conflict here. I probably should have taken myself off the case. But you didn't. Thanks. So it's almost noon. They're supposed to release me, no? Your paperwork's been delayed. What? Oh, can't you do anything about that? No, I can't. It's probably going to be a couple more hours. A couple more hours? Look, I never meant to kill anybody. Would you just not make it any tougher on yourself than it already is? Look, Rita, you know me. Do I? Well, you used to think you did. That was a long time ago. We both have changed a lot. I didn't kill him, Rita. Yeah, well, somebody did. His wife says it was you. God, if you talk to her, she's crazy. And you're not? No, not anymore. Look, I'm straight. I went through the treatment. I'm clean, man. What do you want from me? I want the truth. The truth? OK, I swear. I told him everything I know. Yeah, we fought. Yeah, maybe I even hated the guy. But I didn't mean to kill him. Come on, Rita, if you don't believe me, nobody will.
This is 1X-ray 8, over. 1X-ray 8. Patrol units are at the scene of a single vehicle accident. 3800 block of Palm Drive at Seabreeze. It's an apparent kidnapping. The driver fled on foot and the victim is asking for you by name. 10-4 dispatch, do you have the victim's name? Affirmative. Victim's name is Claire Hollinger. 1X-ray 8, responding code 3. Mrs. Hollinger? He... he was inside the house. He grabbed me. I... I tried to fight him off. I, I tried to... It's okay. It's okay. You're safe now. I called for an ambulance. It should be here in a bit. I was so frightened. He was gonna kill me. Thanks. So what happened? I was in the kitchen unloading groceries when I heard something in the house. And then before I knew it, he grabbed me by the neck and he said he'd kill me if I didn't do exactly as he said. Did you recognize him? He was wearing a mask. But when he asked me for the keys to my car, there was something about his voice. If you heard his voice again, do you think you could recognize it? It, it sounded strange, like he was intentionally trying to disguise himself, but I'm sure I've heard him before. Uh, describe him for me, ma'am. How tall he was, what he was wearing. Maybe six feet tall, dark jacket, jeans. He was very strong. I'm sorry, I can't be more help. No, this, this is great. You know, who would want to kidnap you, Mrs. Hollinger? I don't know. Unless... Unless what? The radio said DJ Martin was being released at noon. That voice, it, it reminds me of the way he sounded right before he killed my husband. Allegedly. I beg your pardon? Before he allegedly killed your husband. Yeah, yes, of course. It, it, it's just that he, it sounded the same, and if DJ Martin was released at noon, then it, it could be him. No, he wasn't released at noon. His paperwork never went through. DJ Martin's still in jail. Really? It was... Somebody familiar with your house, familiar with your routine? I suppose so. What about your husband's son? Bud, why would he break in? He still has a key. Yeah. Well, we'll check him out anyway. In the meantime, I suggest you change your locks, and I'll keep a couple extra black and whites in the neighborhood just in case. Thank you. I know how it looks, Rita, but I didn't mean to kill him. I believe you. Well, you're a minority of one. So why are you doing this? Because we used to be friends. Friends talk. Yeah, I remember. Guess we both made some assumptions we shouldn't have. Maybe, but I never made any promises. Don't, don't start, DJ. Don't start. What, you want to talk about it? Are you going to run from me again, Rita? Look, I, I did not run from you. You pushed me away. I pushed you away. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to quit baseball? Baseball saved my life. Look, this is not about baseball. Yes, it is. It's about baseball. It's about a young kid who, who got a chance to do what takes some guys three, four years to pull off. It's about going from nowhere to AAA to the major leagues. Bam, bam, bam. Suddenly making more money than guys who go to college. It's about being a celebrity, having my face on the cover of SI, having endorsements. It's about having everything I ever dreamed of. And you're willing to throw it all away for what? A couple of lines? No, Coke meant more to you than anything, including me. That is not true. Look, that stuff is history anyway. You know that I am clean. H how do I know that? Why didn't you take a drug test when my partner asked you? Because my lawyer wouldn't let me. Come on, Rita, you know about those tests. Sometimes they show positive, give a false read. I mean, what am I supposed to do? What if I test hot by mistake? The tabloids get a hold of that. That's my career. I can't take that chance. Oh, great. What, you think I'm lying? No. Oh, I... I hope you're not. You know, I trusted you once, a long time ago. You brought coke into my house and you compromised me. And I paid the price. I lost you. Well, you don't think that hurts? Look, Rita, I made a mistake, okay? I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. Well, you should be. <laughs> oh, man. Whatever happened to life gets easier the more money you make. This isn't about money. <laughs> no kidding. Man, Rita, you know, I thought this success was gonna be a fastball right down the pipe. You threw me a hanging curve, and... Man, I wasn't ready. <laughs> you know what the problem with the hanging curve is, Rita? What's that? No matter how hard you swing, timing is everything. Your timing never was that good. <laughs> you can say that again. Look, Rita. I want my life to change. I want a second chance. It's up to you to change it. See ya. Yes. Oh, baby, come You're not really gonna eat that, are you? Yeah, you want some of this, sir? Oh, yeah, I'd love to, but I forgot my stomach pump. So what's happening with the attempted kidnapping? Miss Hollinger thought it was DJ Martin. That's impossible. He was still in jail. I know. That's what I told her. Wow. You know the old saying, even paranoids have enemies. Yeah. I went by the estate earlier. No sign of forced entry, but she claims she had all the doors locked. So who does that leave us with, bud? Yeah. I mean, he had a key to the place. He vaguely fits the description. But why kidnap his stepmother? I mean, it doesn't make sense. What does he think? He can talk out of a half a million dollars with pantyhose stretched over his face? Or maybe he takes the direct approach. Opportunity knocks when Royce dies. He offs Claire, contests the will, and gets it all. But why the bungle kidnapping? I mean, why doesn't he just kill her? That is a three-point question for Bud. Good job. DJ Martin claims that your stepmother came on to him that night, that she was the aggressor. Claire's a woman who goes after what she wants, and she usually gets it, no matter what it costs or who she hurts. Had she had any other flirtations that you know about? I could sling mud at Claire all night. Get rather one note, don't you think? Regardless of who or what she is, my father loved her. And in the long run, that's all that mattered. Game over. She takes it all. You come for your whereabouts today? All day? All day. I needed to think. I own a small Sabbath. A Sabbath is a one man sailboat. If you were on it, you had to be alone. So did anyone see you put out or come back in? I wouldn't know. Somebody tried to kidnap Claire Hollinger today. Don't look at me. <laughs> is there anybody who can verify your whereabouts? No. Uh, don't tell me. I'm going to have to get someone to live with me just to give me an alibi. You got a set of keys to your father's estate? You mean my stepmother's estate? Yeah, right here. Only if I were going to do something to her, it wouldn't be kidnapping. What would it be? Murder? I didn't say that. But that's what you meant, wasn't it? You kill her, then contest the will. Interesting theory. Only I would have killed her. Why? I don't want to talk about it. Why not? What did she do? How did she get between you and your father? I'm through answering questions, Sergeant. Should I call my lawyer, or are you going to leave now? Bud, listen to me. Now, kidnapping and murder are serious charges, and if you didn't do anything wrong, then you've got nothing to worry about. But unless you can give us something to go on, then I gotta warn you, things don't look good. What do you want from me? The truth. <laughs> the truth. What happened between you and your father? She did. What are you doing? Playing out a fantasy. Is it yours too? Let your imagination wander. It's okay if you fantasize about me. You're meant to experience it too. That's the real rush. 
This is wrong. Your father will never know. And what he doesn't know can't hurt him. I wasn't thinking about him. I'll protect you. This will be our little secret. No. No. He'll find out. How can he? He's not here. Just this once, baby. And if you don't like it, we'll never do it again. But he's my father. I mean... Shh. Let me do all the work. We gotta stop this. Just go with it. Stop it. I like to play rough. You bastard! You get your hands off of her! You stay away from me! Royce, you're back! He attacked me! It's a lie! Dad, that's a lie! You don't understand it's a lie! Dad! Dad, stop! Get out of my house. No, you don't understand. The hell, I don't! I want you out. Now, don't you ever come back, you hear me? I'm sorry. You? Why should you be sorry? He's the one who should be sorry. He's the one who should have seen her for what she was. Sometimes the hardest things to see are those things that are closest to us. My father had an ego. He was never wrong, always right. Once he made his mind up, you could never change it. But she knew how to manipulate him. And she got your share? Every last cent. <laughs> she kept feeding him lies and distortions about me. I wrote him letters. He returned them unopened. I wanted him to know the truth. The truth about her, the truth about me. And now he's dead. He's dead and he'll never know. Are you willing to give a detailed statement of everything you just told me? I smell smoke. I hope you're not burning up my kitchen. This is beautiful. You really knocked yourself out. Well, you haven't seen anything yet. Black and red fish. The thing that's great mm. about it is already burned. It smells good. Don't sound so surprised. Did you bring yourself any wine or anything? No. Just because I'm not drinking doesn't mean you can't. Well, you've read the bumper stickers. It's okay not to drink. This really looks wonderful. Well, let's get to it. Here you go, we'll have a little toast first. What would you like to toast to? Memories. I feel weird, you feel weird. So what do we do now? Go to dinner? I don't know if it measure up to that appetizer. But I think it's fit to eat. Madame? Thank you, sir. Good morning. Morning. Did you 
sleep all right? Like a baby. I'd wake up every couple of hours, think of me out here all alone. <laughs> then I'd cry. I'd go back to sleep. <laughs> what? I'm gonna go jogging. You're welcome to come with me if you think you can keep up. Keep up? Mm -hmm. I will leave you in the dust. Really? Yes. Wow. You're on, pal. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Hey, morning, Sam. Good well, afternoon. What's with these hours? You work in the drive through teller? Since when did I start reporting to you? Since right now. My reader radar says that this delinquency has to do with one DJ Martin. Am I right? How did you know that? A little bird told me. I called your apartment. He answered the phone. Aww. And while I was on the phone with him, I talked to him about getting a few autographed DJ Martin baseball cards, which I got. Mm-hmm. 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 So what's he doing at your place? He's cleaning my kitchen. Oh, you, you had him over for breakfast, huh? Well, actually, it was more of a substantial meal than that. It was, um, thank you. It was more like dinner. Dinner. And he's just now cleaning the kitchen. Nothing gets past you, Sam. And you have a dirty mind. We talked, period. Mm hmm. That's a conversation I would have loved to have heard. It's just I'm hearing about somebody trying to kidnap Mrs. Hollinger. Yeah, that's her story. Uh, uh, we got a line on the perp? He wore a mask. He thought it might be DJ Martin. Yeah, but he was still in jail. What about the son? Uh, what's his name? Uh, Bud. He fits the profile. He even has a set of keys to the estate. Why do I sense a little hesitation here? Because we went to go visit him yesterday, and we learned that Claire has a thing for stepsons. Yeah, and the old man has a thing about walking in just when things are getting hot and sticky. Sounds like the same timetable they wonder when uh, Hollinger bought it in his driveway. Yep, exactly. Certain echoes certainly do occur. Huh. Mrs. Hollinger seems to have a real talent for getting nailed. Maybe everything comes back to Mrs. Hollinger. I mean, she sets up DJ to get in a fight with Hollinger. But he runs away before Hollinger dies, so she has to finish the job herself. And then when it looks like we don't have enough to make a case stick against DJ, she waits till she thinks he's been released and she fakes a kidnapping. It's a lot of supposition. True. It's dangerous, but the good things in life do require a little industry. Yeah, and the good convictions require proof. Everything's circumstantial. So what do we do? We beat her at her own game. Bring her in, but make sure she calls her attorney. You've got no reason to arrest her. <laughs> You've got Bupkis. This ball player kills her husband. Somebody else, maybe some friend of this DJ What's-His-Name, attempts to grab her and scare her. The bottom line remains, she didn't do it. Wrong. She lured DJ Martin into a compromising position, knowing full well that her husband would catch him. She knew Royce Hollinger had a bum ticker, and she was hoping that the fight would kill him. When it didn't, she decided to finish the job herself. How are you going to prove this? Her stepson's coming forward to testify that Claire seduced him the same way she got to DJ. Now, patterns of behavior can be very persuasive. Well, hearsay, not admissible. Her prints are on the bat. So what? She was confused. She picked it up after the fact. That's what she claims. But without witnesses, I say she's lying. Claire Hollinger willfully, deliberately murdered her husband, and that's what we're going after in court. What's the offer? <laughs> Murder, too. Oh, unacceptable. You can't prove malice of forethought, not in a million years. The story ends when DJ leaves the scene. You want to bet? Just make sure your client can afford to lose. There's no difference between two seconds and two years. She planned this murder. You know it, I know it, and she knows it. <clears throat> we'll settle for excusable. Get out of here. You're offending me. Involuntary. She signs off on it right now. This ain't a car wreck. A man had his windpipe crushed with a baseball bat. I have what I need to make this case. Don't push your luck. Make it voluntary manslaughter. Deal. Why don't you go downstairs and talk to your client? We can meet in my office, say, uh, 20 minutes. Done. What's with all the wheeling and dealing, Donovan? That's what I do. <laughs> you guys drag him in here, I close the deal. You take what you can get, however you can get it, and we got nothing on this crazy broad. Yeah, but everything points to her. I mean, maybe in time something will break. And maybe it won't. We know she did it, but without proof, it's too big a risk to prosecute. If she'll sign off on voluntary, 
I'll go to lunch. I'm impressed. Well, you hire a professional, you get professional results. <laughs> oh, he should have been a used car salesman. Yeah. Yeah. Mrs. Hollinger's here to see you. Send her in. Mrs. Hollinger, I take it you've spoken with your attorney regarding the plea bargain we're willing to agree to? I have. Where is he? I fired him. You what? When he attempted to persuade me to accept your offer, I realized I no longer needed his services. You don't have a case. The hell we don't. We know what happened and we're prepared to prove it if we have to. You and DJ were caught by surprise. <laughs> DJ is forced to defend himself. He puts up a fight to save his life. But DJ gets a little rough with Royce and Royce hits the ground. They struggle for the bat while you watch from the sidelines. DJ's a little scared now, maybe he's gone too far. He looks around for you, but you're nowhere to be found. He's spooked and bails. You come out of the house, find Royce alive and breathing, but unable to defend himself. DJ's gone, it's early morning, nobody's around. Perfect opportunity. So you pick up the bat and crush your husband's windpipe. DJ's a pinch hitter and you're home free. Are you done? I'll tell you when I'm done. Your plan went sideways when DJ washed clean. But instead of walking away from it, you kidnap yourself, so we'll think the killer's still out there. Greed begets stupidity. The offer is voluntary manslaughter. I suggest you take it. And I suggest you prosecute. But you better make it stick, because when this is all over, I intend to sue. You have nothing on me. Nothing. I'll see you in court. We struck out. What? Hey, Miss Hollinger. You may think you're getting away with this, but you're not. It'll take us a while, but we will bring you down. In your dreams. Just ask Bud, he'll tell you, won't you, Bud? Because he knows. I'm the sole heir, and there's nothing any of you can do about it. Somebody call an ambulance! You took everything from me. You killed my father. DJ. Hello? Hi. I just wanted to drop by and say goodbye on my way out of town. Do you want to come in? No, no. It's fine. I really got to get on the road. I just wanted to say, you know, that, uh, well, the other night it was, it was like old times. Yeah. It was nice. But, uh, but it... No, go ahead. No, no, no. You go first. Well, I was just going to say, as great as it was, and we both changed a lot, and uh, we're not kids anymore. Yeah. I guess it's time to move on. Yeah. I would be lying if I didn't tell you that it made me a little bit sad. Yeah, me too. So, uh, next time I'm in town, may I give you a call? You better. You count on it. Bye. Bye. Thank you.